Okay, today I'm going to be playing some Wolfenstein 3D. I already did a full review of this, and I already streamed this, so now I'm going to be playing this game again, but to give you my personal experiences with this game. I just love that beginning saying a PC-13, like it's a parody of a PG-13 film. Anyways, um, let's see, if I remember correctly, I think I first played this game... Not when it first came out in 1992, but it was about a few years later. Now, some would argue that this game hasn't aged well just because everything looks dated. Well, what can you expect? But some say this is still a classic because it's just... Well, it's just... Uh, well, let's just say it's just a history-making game. In both good ways and bad. Well, the good way is that it's fast-paced, fun, and engaging. And a not so good way is that this game started a lot of controversy, especially if you were living in Germany at the time. Which if I remember correctly until recently, the game was banned in Germany, but I think that got lifted. Of course, speaking of uh, controversy, I seem to remember in one of my magazines that I saw this game and I looked at it and I was like, wow. That's Wolfenstein? Of course, back then, some companies were a little iffy about having Nazi symbolism in their games, so what they had to do is that they had to remodify it. And they also had to uh, get rid of the blood. Just so it could, just so it could be released on a uh, family, friends, family console. Super Nintendo, I'm looking at you for this. Anyways. And as like I said before, this game caused this game made history in both good ways and bad. Now, if we look on the flip side of things, the good side that this game was a huge success, and it's not hard to see why. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Wolfenstein, as I said in my review, there were at least I think two other games that came before this. One was well, Wolfenstein, and I think there was a second one. And let me just say those two games are way different. Of course, I don't have the exact games themselves, so you have to do a little bit of game around for it. all the secrets in the first level. Well, then again, by this point, everybody does. What's kind of interesting is that after the release of the console games, that this game lay dormant for a while until 2001 with uh, <clears throat> Return to Castle Wolfenstein, I believe. Which also was a huge success. And developed... Oh yeah, I remember correctly now. Here it also got. It was also the first Wolfenstein game they got console releases on the PS2 and Xbox, which, once again, I made mention in a, one of my reviews. But of course, between you and me, I always prefer the PC version of uh, any game. Now, don't ask why. I just did. So the purpose of this vlog is not to find everything here, because, boy, that would take forever a day. But this is just a sh well, you know. I already made mention of this three other times. So I'm not going to repeat myself the fourth. Thank you. 
one thing that always puzzled me whenever I played this game back when I was younger was, okay, why did the Nazis have so much gold to begin with? I mean, what is that going to accomplish? rush or speed rush no 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 that's not what the vlogs are all about it's about me providing my opinion and share with you guys my experiences again i cannot believe why i repeated myself slipped my mind. One thing I absolutely hated about this game is that uh, before the advent of mini maps, you always got lost. Oh! Even I still get lost to this day for every time I play this game. And the level does not get more complex in later episodes. Which is a good thing because it forces you to sit and think. Okay, I've been here already. Where do I go next? And hopefully, uh, you can find your way to the end without too many problems. Oh, that's right, I forgot to mention one, one other thing. You stand too close to the guards. They take a pretty good chunk out of your life. I think you can even get hit, killed in one hit, if I remember correctly, if you stand too close. Okay, so I just moments ago, I uh, had about 70% health, and now I was down to I was down to five. So I guess it's pretty imperative to, 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 to check your corners. Yeah, that's yeah. There is one other thing I forgot to mention. Speaking of uh, health below certain value, I think if it gets below four percent health, you can actually drink blood off the floor. I mean, what is uh, BJ a vampire? I mean, if that was the case, then he'd be drinking the blood out of every na dead Nazi guard he sees, which would make the game even weirder. That's not to say this game's weird, it's just that having BJ as a vampire would make this game out of make it feel like out of place. Just like that, my health is back up. Good. Later episodes, they have the silver key. But I'm not gonna go over that.
that big grin just says it all. Time to go find some Nazis, but I think we got them. Up to the next level. Trying to get out of here, that is. Use that as a map, but unfortunately, it doesn't ruin the fun.
what's interesting is that I was a little off center and yet it still managed to connect. Of course, this is all for the invent of mouse aiming and the WASD movement. One thing I've also wondered is, uh, how exactly is BJ gonna carry all this gold with him? And all that's gonna do is just slow him down. But this is just a game, so it's not meant to be taken seriously. This time around, I got 100% treasure ratio. Huh, that's interesting. All right, I think I think I've said what needs to be said here. Um, thanks to everyone to who listened and watched this, and I will see everyone next time.